Beef Curtain 69. To be honest, there is a big community of fragrance heads on YouTube that collect thousands of bottles and review colognes that I watch quite often. Versace Eros is a very popular scent and many love it. It has a nice apple note in it. Also, Aqua Di Gio is an all-time great and it has a newer release called the Profumo version in a black bottle that everyone loves. But my honest opinion is to go into the store personally and test them yourself and choose what you like as everyone has different tastes. Uh, there is a very expensive cologne called Creed Aventus that the community calls the king of fragrances and it's crazy popular, but it's not cheap either. Oh, and Bleu de Chanel, I know I murdered that, by Chanel is another great one. I saw that Creed Aventus. I think that's like, what, $300? $300 for a cologne. If, you're, if your intended purpose, let's, be, let's just be frank here. If one of your intended purposes of the male cologne is to maybe give you a, a uh, advantage, you know, with the females, you know, maybe, maybe let's say you peaked at maybe an eight. Let's say all you can get is maybe an eight out of ten. You get the Creed Aventus, you get the Perfumo, maybe you get a nine out of ten. Maybe it bridges that gap. That's a pretty powerful thing for, you know, cologne to do. But uh, Versace Eros, yeah, that's one that I've seen uh, people on uh, YouTube, you know, not taste testers, but smell testers. I was going to say taste testers. Um, you know, literally some females could not take it away, like, from their nose. Think of the power, okay? Think of leveling the playing field with the ladies, you know? There was uh, one time I remember, uh, I forget who it was from, but... It may have been a friend, maybe been somebody I work with, but uh, this girl said, and I can't be graphic and I say this, but this girl said, you know, if he wore that perfume, I would him, you know, literally that's what she said. Now she could have been joking about it, but think about that. Um, most everybody, and I think I made a mention of this, most everybody mentioned that Aqua Di Gio Perfumo. So later on today, even. I know I've uh, I've had to work a stretch and I'm off today. I might go get that sampler bag and I probably might go ahead and just, you know, plop down money for the Perfumo because, uh, yeah, it seems like a winner there. I'd like to get the Versace Eros, but I think I'm going to go with the Perfumo. I already have a Curve and I, um, what I got the other day was Chrome for 33 bucks. Not really super happy with it, you know, for the money. It just, mm, the scent doesn't stay on very, very long. Maybe I didn't put on enough. But uh, the Perfumo, and here's something really funny I'll tell you. When I, I went to Walmart and actually looked at what they had, and they had a couple nice ones. They had the Curve for Men. They had the Chrome, which I wound up getting, which comes in a really awesome-looking bottle. has like a nice little you know Chrome uh, cap. looks really awesome. But they had some of the – they had Calvin Klein U, the spray bottles of the off-brand. Oh, these things are terrible. They had a Aqua Di Gio Perfumo. Our version of Aqua Dio Gigio Perfumo, and it was eight bucks. I took out, nobody was looking, and I took it out of the little cardboard, and I two sprays on my arm. I smelled it. I couldn't smell anything. This thing was like practically nothing but water. You know, Aqua was right. Aqua was right because it was mostly just freaking water. And uh, yeah, so I'm like, that's just thing like a jack. So you would probably have to like empty out half the bottle to get maybe the, the equalness of uh, the actual thing, the real genuine article. So that just seems like a jip right there. But I guess that's a, you know, it's an easy way to make money. You know, people that can't afford the real stuff, you know, got to get the cheap stuff and everything. And sometimes cheap stuff is nice. Some, some of you actually said that uh, Old Spice and Brute, stuff like that was actually, you know, just aftershaves. Um, Aqua Velva, hey, that's what—that's a scent that a lot of the ladies like. 